You know what? I'm just going to dump this all in here. I think that sounds like a great idea. Why not, right? Boil faster! The gender of my baby depends on it. Hey guys, how's it going? So if you're subscribed to my channel, then you know that at my 11 week pregnancy vlog, I asked for your guys' opinions on what kind of home gender test that I should do. The three major ones that you guys wanted me to do was the baking soda one, the intelligender one, and the cabbage test. Unfortunately, I can't do intelligender right now. It's like $30 at Target, and Devin just started a new job, so like every little penny counts. And of course, when you start a new job, you have to wait for your first paycheck. Well, technically, it's not a new job. He tried to switch to local, and that didn't work. The pay just wasn't enough, so now he's going back to his other job. But you know that it takes a little bit to have your first paycheck. So we can't do Intelligender right now, but I will do all the other home gender tests that you can do. And I've actually grouped all of these into categories because I'm organizational like that. There are actually two different Chinese gender charts, believe it or not. Plus, there's a Mayan theory, so that's grouped into one. And then I have all of the old wives' tales that's grouped into one category. And then another category is uh, based off of your youngest child. There are two predictors that you can do on your youngest child that's supposed to determine the gender of your next baby. And then my last category involves P. <laughs> so that's gonna have to be last. None of these tests are actually proven to be accurate or right or anything like that. This is not me um, saying that baby is this gender or is not that gender. This is just for fun. It's just to see, you know, what all of the old little tests say. And I just thought it would be interesting to do. So this is not like based on fact. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a little like counter thing up here somewhere for each side. You can see which one of your teams is winning. <laughs> and then at the end of the video, I would like for you to comment down below and tell me what you think that we're having. Just, I would like to hear your opinion. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first category, which is the two different types of Chinese gender chart and the Mayan theory. And when I say like two different types of Chinese gender chart, I don't mean that the whole entire chart is completely different. Uh, they're like technically the same, one is just more specific than the other. I will have links to both down below so that you could check these out for yourself, but one is supposed to be like more accurate than the other because the Chinese believe that you are a different age on different months. It just depends if it's a solar month or a lunar month. That depends on how old you are. So the more accurate one asks for your date of birth and your age of conception, and the one on Baby Center asks you for your date of birth and your due date. So they are different, and they do give you different results. Oddly enough, the one on Baby Center is the one that has been the most accurate for me. It said I would have a girl when I was pregnant with Carly. She's a girl. It said I would have a girl when I was pregnant with McKinley. She's a girl. And this time, Baby Center says that I am having a boy. And the other chart says that I am having a girl. So we are currently tied right now, 1-1. One, one. one is for boy and one is for girl. The Mayan theory says that if your age of conception and the year that it is are both odd or both even, then you're having a girl. But if they're different, if one's odd and one's even, then you're having a boy. And at the time of conception, I was 24 years old and it is 2016, so we are having a girl. Another gender test predictor that you can do at home is either the wedding band on the string or the key on the string. I did the key on the string. Which, whichever one you do, the wedding ring on a string or the key on a string, if it goes back and forth, it's a boy. And if it goes in circles, it's a girl. And I tried to video it and it came out awful because it was really hard to hold that thing and to position the camera at the same time and to get a good angle. It was just really hard to maneuver by myself. So I wasn't able to do that test on video, but I did do the test and it went back and forth, which gives it a boy result. Okay, now I'm going to do all of the old wives tales of your signs and your symptoms and your body and that kind of thing that is supposed to determine the gender of your baby. And I will even talk about Carly and McKinley's pregnancy during this so like it's like a comparison sort of I guess so you all can have a better determination of what you guys think that we're having because I want that comment <laughs> the first one is heart rate uh, I've seen two different variations one is uh, if baby's heart rate is above 150 
one says if baby's heart rate is above 140. Below 140, that sounds kind of low. But I got my heart Doppler today and I went ahead and I checked baby's heartbeat and baby's heartbeat, at least on my Doppler, was hanging out in the upper 130s, lower 140s. Carly's heart rate was always in like the 170s. It was always super high. I don't know if I ever doubted that she was gonna be a girl because I had so many symptoms and signs that pointed straight to girl with Carly. Uh, McKinley was my iffy one. Some of her signs and symptoms could have been boy and some of them could have been girl, but her heart rate always hung out in the upper 150s, lower 160s, somewhere in there. And this baby is somewhere in the upper 130s, lower 40s. At my last ultrasound which was at like seven weeks we haven't seen baby in a while the heart rate then was in the lower 150s like 150 151 it was really low in the low 150s so that sounds like about right I'm just gonna go by the most recent of baby's heart rate which was below 140 so I'm going to give it a boy result the next to old wife's tale is hair growth supposedly if your hair grows more or if you have more leg hair or body hair, then you're having a boy. And if your hair growth doesn't change at all, then you're having a girl. And this one, I don't really like because <laughs> my hair has always grown fast. Like I kid you not, it's now September, today's September 1st. I had my hair cut in March to like, I don't know, I'm trying to guess, here. I had it really short and it's already grown like six inches. So. <laughs> This one I know for a fact isn't accurate because I have really fast growing hair anyway. But if you're gonna go by the old wives tale, it says that I'm having a boy. The next one is headaches. Uh, supposedly if you have more headaches during your pregnancy then you are having a boy and if you have the same amount or less headaches or no headaches then you are having a girl and I've been complaining a lot about headaches this pregnancy actually I'm really glad that I'm doing this video for a second reason when I do my pregnancy vlogs I tend to freeze up a lot and I tend to forget a lot of my signs and symptoms that I want to tell you guys but I forget to tell you all <laughs> until the video is already uploaded and I'm like oh man I forgot this symptom or this symptom or it's like three days later and I'm like oh yeah I forgot this symptom so this can be like a catch-up on all of the <laughs> symptoms and signs that I've been wanting to tell you guys that I've just gotten pregnancy brain and forgot to tell you guys about but if we're going by headaches I have been complaining more about headaches this pregnancy more so than I did with the girls uh, at least to the best of my memory so I'm going to give it a boy result the next one is morning sickness and oh my gosh because with like every girl that I know they all tell me that their boy pregnancy was great and they weren't fatigued and they weren't sick and they just felt awesome and I'm like not me <laughs> I have been sick with Carly and McKinley and this baby now granted with Carly and McKinley I actually threw up like for a whole week or two there I think with Carly it was two weeks it might have been two um, but I know for a fact with McKinley it was one week it was always morning and it was always after breakfast I would run to the bathroom and throw everything up it was awful and then on top of that with McKinley I had like no appetite at all with that kid so I dropped like eight pounds which for me is like a big deal because I never lose weight during pregnancy I always gain so if we're going by morning sickness it says that if you have morning sickness it's a girl if you don't have morning sickness it's a boy so if we're going by that I am having a girl the next one is where you sleep. Do you sleep on your right side or do you sleep on your left side? Supposedly if you sleep more on your right side you're having a girl and if you sleep more on your left side then you're having a boy. But I do tend to sleep, even though I do toss and turn a lot, I do tend to sleep more on my left because that faces Carly. <laughs> and that's just the most comfortable for me. So if we're going by that then I am having a boy. The next one is skin. If you supposedly break out more then you're having a girl. If your skin stays the same or if it's better then you're having a boy. I looked like a teenager with the girls. I really did. I broke out on my face all the time. It was, it was awful. This baby, my face has been pretty clear and I'm really surprised but mostly I'm really happy because, because with the girls I looked horrible. I really did. But I'm so clear with this baby. Like I hardly ever have a, a pimple and if I do it's a small one. It goes away very, really fast. If we're going by this particular symptom then I am having a boy. The next one is your mood. Are you more moody or are you less moody? If uh, Supposedly if you have more mood swings or if you're more hormonal you're having a girl and if 
you're not as moody or not as hormonal than you're having a boy. If you've been watching my pregnancy vlogs, then you know that I complain about mood swings a lot. <laughs> and that I'm very weepy and cryy with this baby. I, I weep and cry a lot. I didn't do that with Carly and Kenley. I only cried one time and that was with Carly and that was for not even a week and it was uh, always before Devin left for work. <laughs> McKinley I didn't cry at all I don't think. This baby I've been crying in my first trimester which is like okay. So if we're going by this symptom because I've been really moody and crying it's a girl. The next symptom I have never actually heard of this. I looked up all of these gender like tests and predictors and stuff online before I started making this video and I had never heard of this one. But the next one is about your feet. If you have cold feet or colder feet than you're having a boy, if your feet are th the same, if they haven't changed, you're having a girl. I have not really noticed my feet until today <laughs> and only because I came upon this symptom and I was like, huh. So I've looked down, I've felt my feet, they feel colder, so if we're going to go by that, then I'm having a boy. The next one is cravings, which is kind of one of my favorites. I don't know why, I just think it's interesting. All pregnancies are different, everybody craves something different with all of their pregnancies, but I just think it's kind of fun. Uh, so this one's like one of my favorites. With Carly, I crave Mexican food something awful. Like she was gonna come out Mexican. Like it, I just wanted Mexican food all the time. With Kenley, for like a week there, I wanted salty and sour. But after that, it was nothing but sweet. I wanted fruit and I wanted sweet stuff and candy and that kind of thing. But with this baby, I'm wanting salt and I'm wanting meat. And <laughs> like for instance, my craving right now, cheeseburger and fries. That just sounds so good right now. I wish I could have that right now. That's like, that's my craving right now. So if we're going by that, because I'm craving salty and sour instead of sweet, that means I am having a boy. The next one is father's weight. And oh, Devin, I wish you were here. Let's give a little pat to Devin, who is not here, but here in spirit. Hi, Devin. Poor Devin, I feel bad having to talk about him. When Devin and I first got together, he had lost a lot of weight because he was under a lot of stress at the time. And he dropped a lot of weight. He went from somewhere in the upper 200s to like 210. He dropped, I think, I'm trying to remember what he told me. Was it 80 pounds? Uh, I can't remember. Maybe it was 90. I'm trying so hard to remember the exact number, but he, he dropped a lot of weight. But when I got pregnant with Carly, and he knows this, so it's not like I'm, you know, saying something that isn't true. When I got pregnant with Carly, he gained about 40. So, yeah, she was a girl if we're going by this symptom. Um, McKinley, his weight didn't change at all. And with this baby, his weight didn't change at all or hasn't yet. I'm only 14 weeks, five days. But his weight hasn't changed. And if the father's weight does change, if he gains, then it's a girl. And if he doesn't gain, it's a boy. He's been maintaining his weight for the past like couple of years now. So if we're going by that symptom, baby is a boy. The next one is graceful or clumsy. If you're more graceful during this pregnancy, then you're having a girl. And if you're more clumsy, then you're having a boy. I haven't told you guys this yet because it was we were just so busy and we were going through a lot that day because um, Saturday was the day that Devin left for training. But on Saturday morning, I woke up and I went to the bathroom and there was a lot of blood. Not like, oh, I just spotted a little bit on the paper. Not like that. I'm talking like the toilet was red. So I went to the ER, they did their tests. They told me that I have some bleeding behind my placenta. And Devin was like, bed rest. <laughs> and Devin was like, you better take it easy. Don't you be lifting anything. I want you to relax and basically be on bed rest as much as you can. And I'm like, Devin, <laughs> I have a house to clean. I have kids to take care of. I can't be on bed rest like 100%. He's like, well, I want you to try because I really don't want you to lose this baby. So I had more bleeding Saturday night. It was the same. But they already told me that what it was, so I didn't go back in. And then the next day, it was like brownish. And then Monday, it was gone completely. But I went ahead and I called my OB, and she told me not to come in, just to follow up at my next appointment, which is this week. Um, but today, I've been bleeding. Like, the bleeding's back. So... Because I've had to rest a lot and I've um, not been able to like be as active as I normally would be. So if we're going by that symptom and because I've had to be more restful right now during my pregnancy, that would put us at having a girl. The next symptom is heartburn. You guys know if you've been watching my vlogs that I complain about heartburn a lot. It kills me. It hasn't been killing me so much this week. 
Oh crap, I feel like I'm doing a pregnancy vlog update. Ah, no! But uh, heartburn, I do complain about heartburn, and if you have heartburn, it's a girl. If you don't have heartburn, it's a boy. But if we're going by heartburn, I am having heartburn, and it's not fun. So, according to this, I am having a girl. The next one is my least favorite, because I'm so bad at this one. The next one is mother's intuition. Guys, I don't want to do this one. <clears throat> because mine is pretty much broken. Like, I have the worst intuition. Like, some women are like, oh, I just knew that it was a boy, or I just knew that it was a girl, and I'm like, oh, lucky you. I, just, I don't have that. I guess if I'm gonna have to guess, I would say that I'm having a boy, but I don't actually know. Like, baby could still be a girl. The next two gendered predictors are based off of your youngest child. And the first one is your youngest child's hairline in the back. Supposedly, if it comes to a point like this, you're having a baby of the opposite sex. But if it's a straight line like this, then you're having a baby of the same sex. I will go ahead and show you a picture of McKinley's hairline. The last two tests involved urine, so um, I'm gonna go do that in the kitchen and I will just go ahead and do that live for you guys right now. Okay, there it is. Two tablespoons of baking soda and now in goes the pee. And I don't think it's doing anything. It fits there for like a second. And now nothing. Okay, so the baking soda didn't really fizz like soda pop or beer or anything like that. There wasn't really any kind of reaction. It fizzed there like for a second right there at the beginning. And then it just stopped. And there were like tiny bubbles. But I'm just going to give it... Overall, for the most part, nothing happened, so I'm going to give it a girl result. So I have my cabbage all cut up, and in the directions it says to put in enough cabbage into boiling water to just cover the water. I just cut up like a little over half of the head of cabbage just to be safe. Okay, and into the boiling water you go. Ah! That's hot. You know what, I'm just gonna dump this all in here. I think that sounds like a great idea. Why not, right? That's gonna boil for like 10 minutes. And then we're gonna get out a cup of it, and I've already got a cup of urine sitting out, and we're gonna put them together. And if it's red or pink, it's a boy, and if it's purple, it's a girl. So, boil faster! The gender of my baby depends on it. Okay, so I have the pee already in the jar, and I have one of these on it because I almost had a pee mishap, <laughs> and I really don't want another mishap. So, that's on there. I have my pee, I have my just boiled cabbage juice that is still got steam rolling off of it because it's still hot. I just hope that I don't have any kind of mishap putting it in here because that's hot. But anyway, I'm going to try... Please don't spill, this would hurt. And let's see. Come on, red cabbage juice. Oh! It's looking purple. It's looking purple. Those you one cup of juice and one cup of urine. Okay. Oh my god. That looks pretty purple. I don't know about you guys. But that looks purple. So the baking soda test and the red cabbage test both said girl, which means boy one. 
We are having a baby boy, which would be really great. It really would. That would be really nice if all this stuff was true and if we were having a boy. Devin and I have two little girls. All we know are girls. That's all we've experienced. It would be nice to experience the other side of things and to experience having a son together. That would be really nice. But if baby is a girl, it'll be okay. She'll just be loved and adored and treated just as well as her sisters. In the end, we just want a healthy baby. So it doesn't really matter if baby's a boy or a girl. We're gonna love her to pieces or love him to pieces. Uh, we just want him or her to be healthy, especially since this baby has the potential to have VLCAD. If you don't know what that is, I will link it down below so you will know the story of our girls and the genetic metabolic disorder that they have that Dev and I are both carriers of. And of course, when two carriers have a baby, <laughs> The chances of, the ba of that baby having what the parents carry, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so we just hope that baby doesn't have VLCAD and that it's healthy and that there's nothing serious. Um, I will do a pregnancy update this Saturday. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that button because there will be a pregnancy update on Saturday. I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss out on everything that has happened this week that I'm going to talk about. So hit that button down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you're team one and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think Devin and I are having based on all these tests and predictions or based on your own predictions, whatever. Just drop me a comment. I want to hear from you guys and see what you all have to say. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.